Good morning. I'm still sipping on my coffee. It's been like a three hour cup of coffee, so it's cold, but I'm gonna finish it anyway. Hi, Melissa. Can you, how's the sound? Can you hear it okay? So I pulled out this rutabaga from the garden the other day. It's massive. I think I'm going to ferment it today. So I'm excited about that. Five out of five. So sound is good. I have a little bit of weather over here, so I don't know how it comes across. I decided I'm going to use the phone because I think the sound is better and the connection is better. Because um, even though we have Starlink, it's not always reliable, especially with weather. So I think my 5G connection with AT&T is probably going to serve us better. But let me know if you can hear it okay. And then we'll give it a couple of minutes and we'll, we'll get started on here. I'm excited about making this. This is the, the perfect kind of weather to make this comfort food for us. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Um, the wind is going nuts, so you might hear some banging going on. I don't know. If you are local here, Santa Rosa County, Escambia County, um, I hope you're okay with the weather. Let me know. I'm going to... The wind just blew open a door, so um, let me lock that. I'll be right back. Door's good. All right. So <clears throat> I thought I'd share a little favorite with you that we like to make around here. And it's the perfect day for it. It's raining. It's gross outside. So comfort food sounds amazing. Um, it's very carb heavy but that makes it a comfort food for us. So it's something that my mom made quite a bit for us when we were growing up, our grandma made it. And honestly, now I make it as a dessert for the family. Before that, my mom made it as a main dish. So like we'd have it for dinner or for lunch. And um, I learned moving to America that you guys call this rice pudding. 
we call it a casserole um, in Germany. So, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, but we call it a, ca a rice casserole in Germany. And um, it's very basic. It's um, milk rice, basically. Uh, we add apples. And for the taste, there's not a whole lot of sugar in it, but between the rice and the milk, you already have a lot of carbs right there. So we're adding a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of, sh of uh, cinnamon to it. And then of course, lots of apples. So that is the basic of that recipe. So I don't know if you're gonna go and make it as well, but I will drop the full recipe below. The nice thing about cooking is it doesn't have to be exact. So I'm gonna start with some rice and um, because it's milk that we're using, I'm not using water, I'm using actual milk. I'm not gonna make it in my rice cooker. I've definitely gotten um, very comfortable with a rice cooker living in Asia for a couple of years, but for milk, I don't like to use the rice cooker. So we're just gonna use a good old pot. And, um, and that's really all there is to it. Cooking from scratch is not hard. You know, I, I just use full, um, whole ingredients and have at it. The nice thing with cooking is you don't have to be exact. So we're going to start with, with our rice and what I like to use because it absorbs it really nice is this risotto rice right here. So it does really well. We're going to wash it real quick, get the dust off of it. And um, then we're going to put it on low heat to uh, help it absorb the milk. And then while, while we wait on that to get cracking, we'll do the apples. So, so that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to start with. And go from there. So what I like to do when I cook is, and Chip is not a big fan of that, but I don't use exact ingredients. I just kind of wing it and let's see how many do we have. So that's two cups of rice. So we're going to need four cups of milk for this. We're going to wash it. What was I saying? Chip doesn't like it when I do this because um, he likes to be exact with his ingredients. Um, I don't. I just taste as I go along and it usually turns out just fine. Um, haven't had any big complaints. Everybody survived so far, so I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be okay. Yes, don't don't judge. I use my heavy pots on my glass top, but that's what I got. So let's see. This pot's gonna take a little bit to heat up, so we're gonna heat it up on high heat, and then we'll add the milk to it. And while we wait on that, we can have a little chat. So feel free to drop any comments, questions. I try to answer as long as I can. You're gonna see me um, pop up as Nicole on the other end because I got the phone going for hopefully a good connection and sound. And then I got the laptop over here because I don't wanna type on the phone if I'm answering any questions or checking in with y'all. But I would love to get some recipes from you guys because a lot of what I cook here is a little bit of a mishmash of international cuisine. Um, obviously I'm from Germany so I cook a lot of German food and a lot of Eastern European food, um, lots of Italian and Mediterranean food. Um, 
I leave the American stuff mostly to chip. Um, so when it comes to um, hamburgers and things like that, chip usually does that on the grill. I usually don't have much to do with it besides sides probably. And um, we definitely did a lot of Asian cooking too when we were in the Middle East and we like a little bit of Asian sprinkled in here and there too. So I'd love to hear your recipes. Um, I know one of my favorites on the Asian side was butter chicken, which sounds kind of gross, but it's really good. So if you've ever had it and if you have a good recipe, drop it. Because I'd love to hear it. All right, time to turn that baby back. And I do not have my own milk right now. I have to buy it at the grocery store or from a local farmer um, because my goats haven't dropped kids yet and nobody's in milk so I don't have any goat milk so I have to buy milk in right now which is not ideal but it is what it is. All right. This is gonna be so good. I love it. All right, here we go. First step done. So this is gonna heat up slowly and then the rice is gonna start absorbing that milk and get bigger. And while we wait for that, we can start chopping apples. Technically, you don't need a whole lot of apples. One is probably enough, but I have a good amount of apples that's getting a little shrivelly. So we're going to use all of them. Um, <clears throat> a little bit more fruit won't hurt us. So what I use a lot when I bake and when I cook is the ingredients that I grew up with and cinnamon sugar and vanilla sugar I use a lot of. So I know in, in the States at least you guys use vanilla extract. Uh, in German baking we really don't use that at all. So vanilla is actually considered a dry ingredient for us because we use vanilla sugar. And uh, so you can make your own with vanilla beans um, or you can buy it in little packages that have like 10 grams in it, which is usually what most recipes call for in Germany. It's like one pack or two packs of vanilla sugar. Or then if you make your own, it's uh, in 10 gram increments, basically. I like to make my own because importing it in little packages is expensive. World Market has it, but I think they want, I don't know, five or six dollars for basically 60 grams of it, and that is ridiculous in my book. So I make it myself, and let me see here. I just made a bunch, oh my goodness. I just made a bunch for Christmas, because that's my big baking month, is November and December. And that's basically how that looks like. You see that? Sparkly. And it smells like heaven. It's amazing. So this is probably, I don't know, like two, three hundred grams may maybe. And basically it's just sugar and vanilla. That's it. And then you just let it sit and it takes on that flavor. Um, so that's what we're going to use here to um, add that vanilla flavor and the the basics of the recipe is just layers we are going to have a layer of rice layer of apples and then we sprinkle that with cinnamon sugar and then we do that again until everything is gone um, and uh, then we bake it for about 15 minutes that is plenty and then it's ready to eat now in Germany, we would typically uh, pair it with vanilla sauce or maybe vanilla ice cream if it's summer. Um, whipped cream obviously is great with it um, on the dessert side or my mom just served it to us straight up. So 
it was just rice pudding and that was it that was the full meal um, definitely filled us up and as kids we definitely loved it so so there's that hey miss sue what is up oliver lee it's what time is it over there it's what i don't know eight hours so 7 p.m dinner time for you hello i'm gonna wait a little bit till this starts warming up because i don't want to get my hands all dirty with apple juice and then touch everything again so let's see where's my where's my good knife my good knife we need that we don't need this we can put this away clean as you go right at least that's what I preach to my kids all right there we go we got a board we got a knife we need a bowl the apples because as we cut them we're gonna acidify them with some lemon juice or if you don't have lemon juice or fresh lemons uh, you can obviously use the bottled lemon juice or if you have citric acid the powdered citric acid you can use that and it just prevents it from browning and adds some acidity with all with all of those carbs so um, I like it more acidic because we got a lot of carbs going on right here so that's that's what we're doing just a lot of prepping and then a lot of deliciousness so in here now we got two cups of risotto rice and then four cups of milk and as the temperature rises on the milk uh, we don't want to bring it to a boil, so we just want it to start heating up and uh, get absorbed by that rice. What was I going to do? Oh, uh, apples. Apples. Here we go. So we peel and we chop, and where's my cinnamon sugar? Here's my cinnamon sugar. So we make it the same way we make vanilla sugar. It's sugar and cinnamon. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> so, so if you've never had cinnamon sugar, I highly recommend it. Look how beautiful this is. Right? Gorgeous, gorgeous color. And it adds amazing flavor. Plus cinnamon is um, very high in antioxidants and it adds spice to your diet. So when it comes to eating super starchy or super sugary foods it actually helps with your metabolism so it's great but anyway these apples are not homegrown because my apples are itty bitty and they are not quite producing yet but that's okay we'll get there eventually fruit trees obviously take a little bit for us to established but you know what we had three apples last year I can't survive off of it but it's a start we had about two cups of blueberries um, from what are you doing the cat's trying to invade go on and uh, yeah so we'll get there but got to start somewhere right do you have any fruit growing? And if you are in our growing um, zone, growing zone, what are you? What are you growing? What are you growing successful? Because I'm always looking to add fruits and vegetables that uh, kind of take care of themselves, where I don't have to mess around with them too much. Um, Nothing goes to waste. 
all of these food scraps are gonna go to the chickens and the pigs and the goats. They love it. The cows are gonna snack some too, but they're a little bit more standoffish. The pigs will definitely eat it, and so will the chickens. And they're gonna love it, especially with this weather today. They're gonna love some treats. So I'm gonna put four apples in here. I might even add more, we'll see. I got plenty of apples right now that have been sitting around. Nobody's eating them right now. And Chip just brought home, I don't know, like 30 pounds of grapefruit. Any tips on what to do with that much grapefruit? We've been eating them fresh, but you know, if you have any good recipes that I should try out, I got a lot of them right now. So I was thinking about making marmalade, but I still have so much uh, jam and jelly from last year. I kind of went overboard a little bit with that. I don't need to add any more, so I'm staying away from it. But I do use citrus juice for cooking and baking quite a bit, so I was thinking about just juicing them and canning the juice. So let me know if you got any good recipes. I probably, I'm going to finish this and then I'll see if there's any questions that I need to answer. But I love me some kitchen time. It's, it's just relaxing. I don't have to think about it. And the thing is, I don't have any picky eaters really in my house. So, nor do I have any food allergies, which is really helpful when you're cooking and baking for a bunch of people. Um, it helps. When there's no allergies um, and I've taught my kids from a young age you eat what I cook or you don't eat so I'm I'm that mom I'm pretty mean when it comes to that but anyway let me wash my hands really quick and then we'll start cutting these up Yeah, it's coming down hard. Anybody Santa Rosa, Escambia, Okaloosa County, Florida? If you are, hang in there. It doesn't seem like it's as bad as earlier this week with the weather, but we still have thunderstorm warnings. So we'll see how it goes. Let me see. Doo -doo -doo. Hello, everybody. Who are these people? Um, hide. There's, oh, goodness gracious, what is going on in here? Just ignore those people that are not saying anything. See, Miss Sue doesn't do it exact either. It's not necessary. Not with cooking. Baking is a different story. Fermented. Hey, Anna. Anna, I'm making something delicious. I am making German rice pudding. And I'm calling it German rice pudding because uh, it's the recipe that my mom makes and my grandma. So it's German to me. I know you guys have this too, but you probably make it differently. So there's that. What are, how do I get rid of these weird comments? Y'all help me out. Uh, report, maybe? I don't know. I might have to do it from the phone. Hang on. Let me see if I can do this here. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, sorry. 
Sorry about that. I should not have messed around with it. I should just leave it alone. Um, I've never done a Facebook Live, so I'm learning. Um, I'm going to probably need... I probably need a... Um, what's it called? What do you call people that watch the chat? There's like a title for it. The chat police. What do you call it? I don't know. I'm going to give it a couple minutes. Can y'all hear me? I am sorry. It kicked me out. Now see, it's starting to absorb right here, you see? It's already getting big. But I'm not going to mess with this chat anymore because it kicked me out. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. I can answer, but I can't kick anybody out right now. I need probably... <laughs> Uh, a chat police to kick out spam, but that's all right. We'll leave that as it is. It'll probably be about, what, half an hour or so for this to absorb all. So we'll just leave that going at low heat. It smells good. I mean, can't go wrong with milk, right? What did, oh. So, we're gonna add some cinnamon. Not cinnamon, vanilla sugar. And we do not need much. I live in America, so I do have these measuring cups now, um, so that I can try to make it easy. In Germany, we do everything by grams, so that's probably, I don't know, maybe about 50, 50 grams maybe? I don't know, let's weigh it. I want to know. Okay. Grams. All right, this thing weighs 17. Oops. All right, and let's see, how many grams is this? 59. So I guess 60 grams. 60 grams of vanilla sugar is what we're going to add. Oh, this looks beautiful.
or if you use vanilla extract, um, I would add maybe two, two, three, two to three teaspoons would probably be enough just for the flavoring. Um, a lot of the German baking and cooking doesn't use a whole lot of sugar. So we try to keep it pretty light, um, which was an adjustment for me moving to America because everything just tastes so sweet and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, hence why I add a lot of tartness when I bake. So there's that. So now we know that a quarter, a quarter cup of sugar is worth about 60 grams. Look at that. I've never done that. I've never converted that. So let's cut up those apples. And I just cube them. I don't need to do anything dramatic. I like to keep them pretty chunky just because um, I don't like them to get too soft in the smaller the pieces, the softer the apple gets, especially since these are already overripe, so I don't want to overdo it. You could shred it if you wanted to, and honestly, you don't need to add apples at all. And typically, we would also add raisins soaked in rum, because um, that adds um, to your gut health as well in regards to um, helping your digestion. But I don't have raisins, so we're going to make it without. And like I said, you can make this without the apples, you can make this without the raisins, but they add more flavor, they add more texture, and obviously they add more nutrition than just going with rice and milk. So, so there's that. I guess you don't see me chopping, huh? But y'all, y'all know how to use a knife, I'm sure. And this is about, this is about the size that I'm cutting them into. I don't like it smaller. Um, ow! Don't do that. Oh, I just cut myself. Bad decision. Bad decisions were made. Ouch. Oh well. Well, it's not bleeding hard, so we're good. We're good. It's not on the food. It just hurts like a paper, paper cut, you know? I think that's enough apples. What do you think? Four apples is probably enough. If you are local, we're going to get together at Pace Wellness Center. Pace Wellness Center on Highway 90 in Pace on January 27th. So if you're local or semi-local, we're getting together and I'm working on getting the link up so that people can sign up because there's limited space. And uh, I was thinking about doing this at my house, but I, even, I have even less space here at my house to host people. Plus I live in the boonies, so it's not, easy to get here and easy to get in where I live. So um, we're partnering with Pace Wellness Center because they are on Highway 90, which is the main drag for us here um, in Pace, Florida. So it's easy to get to. They got, they got plenty of parking and uh, there's enough room for people to get together and sit and get to know each other. So I'm I'm looking forward to hopefully meeting a bunch of new folks because I definitely realized that even though we've, we've met a lot of people since we moved back here from the Middle East, um, with 
And of course we have friends here before we moved to the Middle East that we're still in touch with. But the way we live our life, like the lifestyle that we're living, not everybody uh, can agree with us necessarily or not everybody shares the same interests and that's fine. Um, but it can get lonely. And then especially if you, if you live fairly rural, um, it can get super lonely. Um, so I'm trying to get out a little bit more because I, this is definitely my fault for not really, I honestly, I'm leaving the house to go to work, do work travel or show for the kids around. That's it. Um, I really don't do anything else. I don't, uh, I don't do ladies nights. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. So, and I used to, I used to be a lot more fun, but I really haven't done anything like that. Um, so I do need to get out a little bit more and I do need to connect with people a little bit more. So Pace Wellness Center will help with that because it forces me to leave my house and meet people in person um, rather than online because it's obviously very different. Oh, there we go. Nice. We're getting nice. Right here, good temperature. So yeah, let's see here. So we're about halfway done with this. Perfect. You know, this is kind of nice. I don't have people to talk to while I cook usually. So I'm just rambling on by myself. It's not like you're talking back to me, but <clears throat> This is, there we go. So we've got our apples cut up. That's a good amount right here. So that's probably about four cups of diced apples. And we're going to add a good amount of lime juice here to add some vitamin C. it's going to be sweet enough already between the milk and the vanilla sugar and the cinnamon sugar so we'll add some acidity to it all right so that is the basics and now we're just waiting for the rice so I'm not chill. I'm going to come over here. Let me see. I'm going to try to not get kicked out again. Okay. Very cool. There we go. All right. What time is it? It's almost noon here. It's 1130 here. And, um, well... <clears throat> I'm just finishing my coffee. I started, well, this looks kind of gross now, but I started adding um, turmeric to my coffee, which I was a little bit doubtful about um, because I know how turmeric tastes and I wasn't sure how that would taste in my coffee, but it's actually really good. And it's helped me overall for health because it's a natural anti-inflammatory so it helps uh, bringing down inflammation which as we age we have more and more inflammation in our body anyway naturally so this really helps with reducing uh, inflammation and uh, I know I talk about inflammation a lot because I love my herbs herbs how do you say it right now I'm, I am not, um, English is not my native tongue, so I always was under the impression that um, H-E-R-B-S is pronounced herbs, but I have so many friends who say it's pronounced herbs, so now I'm confused. Is it herbs or is it herbs or 
is it one of those things that's potato potato does it matter I don't know but I feel like I might have embarrassed myself a couple of times because I always say herbs um, and I definitely recorded videos pronouncing it that way so it's on the interwebs <laughs> so you tell me you tell me if I'm saying it right or wrong I don't know is it herbs or herbs or does it matter or is it a southern slash northern thing I don't know Ooh, this is starting to look nice let me see if I can show this to you you see that it's nice getting nice and thick so we should be done here pretty soon with this uh, this is gonna go to the pigs slash chickens and we're gonna get this ready so this is what I'm gonna bake it in um, it really doesn't matter what kind of dish you use you can use a glass dish metal dish you can use uh, some cast iron however you want to do it cast iron actually would be nice should I do it in a cast iron it'll look better in a picture with cast iron so maybe I should do that let's do cast iron why not why not make it look presentable for the Instagram right let me see This was my first cast iron I owned and funny story, I inherited it in Abu Dhabi, <laughs> in the Middle East. Uh, a friend of mine who left, um, who relocated back to the United States, left her cast iron pan there and um, well, I took it in, I gave it a home, and then I brought it back to the U.S. with me. So this thing has been following me around the globe, and then I built up my collection along the way. I really like cast iron because it holds up so well, and I'm a cast iron sinner because I use soap to clean it. It's okay. I use soap and I also, I don't wear aprons and that's okay. This is going to be good. I think the kids are going to like me today. So we're going to preheat this. 360. 360 is what we're preheating it with. It really... It doesn't have to be 360 you can do it a little bit warmer and um, what I like to do I like to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes or so at 360 and, um, and then turn on the broiler for five minutes to really get the top layer of the cinnamon sugar nice and crispy and caramelized and it's, oh, it's so good it's so good so Anyway, I know this is this is already seasoned, but we're gonna add some butter. I grease my baking dishes and my pans whenever I bake with butter. Um, it's just one of those things that I grew up with, with with my mom and my grandma. They always greased with butter. They didn't use Pam, number one, that wasn't around back then, and number two, butter is better. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit more. I think one thing that I forgot to add to the ingredients list for you guys is eggs. Um, so I add two, two to three eggs to 
to this depending on the size of the eggs. Um, again, I have to buy eggs right now. How ridiculous is that? Um, my chickens are on strike still and we eat a lot of eggs. So I have to buy eggs, which is really silly, but I have to because we like them. If it was up to me, I would add ducks again to the farm because they lay all year round and super proficient. We always had duck eggs when we had ducks, but Chip won't let me add ducks again, which who knows, maybe it's one of those things where remember when he brought home that truckload of goats? Maybe I just need to come home with ducks and ask for forgiveness later. Maybe that's what I need to do. Right, this looks really good. All right, we're going to add some eggs. What we're doing is we're adding glue and protein. Now this is not a high protein dish, but it doesn't stop us from adding some protein to it. We've got protein in the milk, we got protein in the eggs, the rice. The rice has some, but not a whole lot. But we do what we can. This is really coming together. We're about done in this, on the stove with this. And then we can layer it. I guess I'm gonna have to probably adjust the camera for y'all so that you can watch me layer it. And then go from there. I like my kitchen style today. I'm super stylish um, with my Haas shirt and my yoga pants and no stylish apron. Sorry. Okay, where is, I need a spoon. Does your husband ever complain about the tools you use in the kitchen? <laughs> Chip gets so frustrated with me when I use utensils that are not necessarily made for that purpose. But, you know, I just kind of, just kind of roll with it. You'd think we've been married for 20 years. <laughs> you just let it go. <laughs> but it's like, it's like the heater and the air conditioning conversation. It's, um just always going to be that way and uh, we're just always going to disagree on that and that's okay. All right, let me see if I can adjust this camera for y'all without disconnecting. Okay, let's see. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Is that good? Now you can see it. Okay, so we, I turned off the heat, the eggs are all mixed in, and now this is how it looks like. Now if you could smell it, you know, it smells great. I really don't need that now that I'm using cast iron. You all talk me into the cast iron, because it's going to look so pretty. Mm. I think I think my kids are gonna like me today when they come home from school. All right, we got our first layer. 
we're going to add our cinnamon sugar. I was thinking about um, rolling out a little collection of the things I use in the kitchen, like the cinnamon sugar and um, the vanilla sugar, because that's not something that's readily available in the United States, and just offer it to people who want it. So if you want some, let me know. I can whip up a batch, and I can always ship it out if you're not local. So let me know. All right, so we're gonna put half of the apples in here. Can you see this? And I'm getting all sticky. We'll add more rice and more cinnamon and another layer of apples, and then we top it off with our last layer of rice. And the oven is ready. Nice. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I should do this every now and then, because This is easy enough for me to schedule, and it's so much easier than if if y'all have followed us on um, on the tube on YouTube, you'll have seen that we don't post a whole lot on there anymore because it's a lot of work to you know bring the camera along for everything and. Um, and film and then edit and then get that stuff up online. It's a lot of work um, and it's just not feasible for us. So we're planning on doing monthly videos like once a month and maybe I can talk Chip into doing like one barn talk or so a month just to kind of share updates and what we've got going on. Um, but I think that's probably going to be the extent of it on YouTube just because it takes so much work and so much effort um, that it's just not sustainable for us between, between uh, you know, farm life and kids and school and um, obviously we both have day jobs too and I travel quite a bit with my day job. so. It's just not something that we can keep doing as much as we were. So these lives are actually, number one, they're more fun because we can actually talk to y'all. And number two, um, I don't have to do any editing. This, this is it. All natural. No editing, no nothing. This is just how we live our life. Raw footage, so to say. Y'all, this is gonna be so good. The only thing about cast iron is that you really can't handle it with one arm. You need two hands, because these things are heavy. Mm. Mm. So good. And that's it. Now, this right here. So it's going to go in the oven like this for 15 minutes. I'm not going to put the final uh, sprinkling of cinnamon sugar on there yet because I want to wait until I turn the broiler on. But this is going to go in right now for... 15 minutes. And then we're going to add the last 
There we go. Then we're gonna add the last layer of sugar on it, and it can um, it can caramelize. So I'm excited about eating that today because it's ugly outside and it's perfect for a meal from back home. Um, so I'm a, I'll drop the the full recipe below, but. As it is with cooking, if, um, if you do a lot of cooking, you know that measurements and ingredients are suggestions and you can adjust however you need to um, for your own taste buds. So, so yeah, um, let me see here. Sweden, that is cool. It is herbs. The H is silent. Okay, so so what's wrong with my American friends who say herbs then? Is that just is that just how they grew up to say herbs? I don't know. I was definitely confused, so I'm glad I'm getting some validation here. Next question on pronunciation saf is it uh is it a saf or is it a saf or is it so s a l v e because i make a lot of them um so am i saying that right because i say saf but if i say it wrong <laughs> please correct me <laughs> that way i can stop embarrassing myself yeah, Chip calls me out on it all the time. It's like, that's not how you say that. It's like, well, that's how I say it. And again, we've been married for 20 years, so you're just stuck with that. That's how I'm going to say it. Um, so it's okay. What, what am I mispronouncing all the time? I don't know. There's something. There's something that I'm saying wrong, but I'm just... Uh, just rolling with it so um, this is basically it um, basic ingredients is rice and I use the risotto rice because it absorbs the moisture really nicely um, apples cinnamon sugar vanilla sugar and some eggs and then we bake it we sprinkle it and then we eat it and it's best warm so um, that's how I like to eat it the best is warm fresh out of the oven um, but I'm not gonna make you hang out with me until it's done uh, I know we scheduled this for about an hour and we're about right there um, I'll post pictures and updates and all of that and I'm hoping that um, I'll meet at least some of you when we're getting together at uh, Pace Wellness Center. I'm really looking forward to it and I'm hoping to exchange some recipes with y'all and seeing you there and then I'm hoping to catch up with you guys next time. Thanks for joining in.